Happy Friday, guys! Um, we are actually, Mike and I have actually taken a half day at work today, and we are bound for Minneapolis just for the afternoon because we are hoping to, well, we're going to Ikea and we're hoping to purchase a new couch. So, uh, we had to borrow my brother's truck uh, so that we could haul it back, and it is, I, I wasn't anticipating it to be this noisy in here, so I don't know if it'll transfer on. <laughs> On, but either way, we have left our offices and we are now on our way to this, we call it the cities. Um, Minneapolis and St. Paul are right next to each other. They're called the Twin Cities. And uh, the Ikea is located in Minneapolis. So that's what we're headed off to do. I don't know if you remember, if you watched last week's vlog, you, I mentioned about how I was hoping that by our next vlog we would have a new sofa, and it has been more drama than I anticipated to buy a new sofa. We have been talking about getting a new um, sofa for how long? A long time. And um, we, when we first bought our house five years ago, it was almost been five years exactly. We. Um, just a microfiber couch and a love seat. And at first I liked them, okay, and then I hated them. They have not held up very well. They are, part of it is our fault because we've let Harlow like chew her bones and stuff um, on the couches and stuff, but um, they really have not held up well. They're really stained. They don't get clean no matter what we do. The uh, cushions have gotten really saggy looking and they have this thing where the bottom cushions don't stay in the couch. So when you're sitting in the uh, couch, your butt starts to fall in the crack slowly and surely and then you feel like a turtle on its back trying to get out of the couch. So that's the scoop. So I had done some research and I decided I wanted kind of a mid-century modern looking couch. I knew I wanted something that would hopefully hide um, stains well and um, all, everything I was looking at was so expensive. And I did a lot of research and found out that a lot of people had bought the Karlstad uh, sectional from Ikea and had been really happy with it. Um, so I was like, I think that's what I want to do. It's a great price. It's the look I'm going for. And um, it has slip covers, so you can take those off and wash them, which I thought uh, with Harlow would be great. We, we'll still let her up on the couches, but we're not going to let her chew her bone, her bones anymore on the couch. Don't you think that's the right thing? Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, so they'll just be really great, too, for when we have kids. And plus, it's a sectional, so there'll be more seating, I'm hoping. Um, so I made this decision. I wanted the Carlstad sectional in the Isunda gray color. And I went and checked online, and it's not available to purchase online. You have to go to the store. Um, <coughs> oh, my voice just cracked. So when I went to check online to see if it was available in our store, it was out of stock. And I just thought, okay, no big deal. I'll check, you know, every week and hope it comes in the stock. Checked every week for quite a while, nothing happened. So finally I called, I, I called our local Ikea and I called like the national, um, I don't know, customer service center and I got two different answers. Uh, the answer I got from our local Ikea was that it was in, uh, going out of stock, the Carlstad in the color I wanted, and um, they weren't getting any more in, so kind of what was left was all that they were getting. So that was the story I got from them. From the National uh, Customer Center, they said, yes, it is going out of stock, or it is um, being discontinued, but not until October. We may get more in, we may not. So I found out that the frame and the actual couch, couch itself was available, but the slip covers and the color I wanted were not. So I was a little broken hearted because I had like rearranged the room in my mind. It was the cost I wanted, it was the color I wanted. I was looking at the other colors and um, there are darker colors, but I didn't want to get a super dark color because our dog shed so badly and I didn't want hair to show really easily. So I then searched around for another 
another couch again and just couldn't find anything and I had my heart set on this uh, certain couch and finally I got it in my I had the idea to um, look and see if they had uh, stock in different cities across the country come to find out they did have a slip cover in the Isunda gray color I wanted in Portland now I have a friend who lives in Portland Oregon who um, I gave her a shout and I said, hey, would you be able to buy this for me and ship it to me? And she said, yes, yes, no problem. So uh, she bought it for me, no problem, I got it. And the package, when I got it, was severely damaged. Like somebody had basically torn over the package. Thankfully, it doesn't look like the slipcover itself was damaged, but it's just been one heartbreak after another on this. And I'm really hoping that we don't have any problems today, right? Yeah. So that is the very long drawn out story that I've gone on for six minutes about our sofa. We are coming, we're just going to um, drive a couple hours to Ikea and then coming back tonight because we actually are helping um, babysit our friends. Um, but we wanted to do it um, during the day because if we went on a Saturday or a Sunday, we just knew that it would be bonkers in there because it's always so packed. So we're hoping to um, at least have a little more breathing room in there. So that's the story. We're on a road trip. We need to get some lunch because it's about 12.30, but um, I will update you later. straight to the sofa section and told the lady what we wanted. She goes, um, I was on vacation, but I think they're out of stock. And I had just called it like a couple days ago and she told me we, they had a ton in. <sighs> Thankfully, we're okay. They have them in stock and now we're just going through the showrooms, but I almost burst into tears. <laughs> Wasn't I? It was almost very bad. Are you waking up again? Mm -hmm. Back there and, uh... what? 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 You are so weird. Get out of here. Okay, the deed is done and we are on our way back home. Uh, and we are about to go into some crazy rush hour traffic. So I'm hoping we can make somewhat of a good time in attempt to get through all this. But going to Ikea makes me tired. Does it make you tired? Yeah, well, you, Mike lifted all the stuff into the back of the truck, but you can't see how crazy it is. We are full to the brim. Well, you can see some of the boxes in the back and then the whole bed of the truck is full. So I will feel much better once we are at home. It is all put together and all the pieces are there because I feel like I'm cursed. I like to stop at the Swedish marketplace because my dad always wants me to pick up some food for him. Um, I did end up getting him this. He likes the smoked creamed roe, which I'm not a fan of, but I always have to get that for him whenever I'm at Ikea. And then these are Mike's favorite cookies. They're the apple ones. They're kind of like a vanilla Oreo with apple jelly on the inside. And I got hazelnut chocolate bar. I just thought that looked good. I haven't had that before. And then I got some of these are these called Dame or Dam? I think Dame candies. So just some treats. Good 
Good morning. This is the chaos that is my life right now. So currently I am babysitting my nephew Dane. Say hi! Hi. <laughs> and I have cushions in back of me and Mike is kind of assembling the couch. And I, I, you guys, I told him you should take out the old couch before he starts the new couch. But he is saying, no, I'm doing it my way. So, whatever. He's doing it his way. But I'm going to play with this buddy. I'm babysitting my nephew for my sister while she's at work for a few hours. So, we're going to have fun, aren't we, Dane? Yeah? Ooh. What sound does the car make? Can you show your muscles? Muscle! Muscle! Can you show your muscle? Yeah, good job! Are you are you so proud of yourself? I'm about to be in Patagonia when I get there. They said I'd be working for a warm blanket and a hot meal on my way to Corcovado. I'm still babysitting my nephew, but my brother came and brought my niece because his wife, my sister-in-law, is also working today. So we thought we'd have a little play date. And we went to the park and <laughs> we're watching the kids kind of just run around. But it's a little chilly out, so I'm not sure how much longer we're gonna last. Should we play with the bubbles? <laughs> finished and it is a thing of beauty okay, I'll show you guys oh it's bigger than I thought it would be um, but it looks awesome in this space I think it's just perfect for the room I want to move it back over this way more into that corner and then I have to figure out kind of a new lighting situation because I used to have uh, end tables right here and here but I don't know if that's gonna work so I don't know we'll work with it for now I love it it didn't it came at a cost though because Mike and Manny had a heck of a time putting it up um, they had some problem with some screws that um, lost their threading or something I don't know the whole story so I have the house myself for a few minutes uh, Mike and Manny want to go get some food my sister came off the couch please Thank you. My sister came and picked up Dane. Oh, we took a nap together for like two hours and he snuggled with me the whole time and it was seriously the best. So that was fun. And then I think I'm gonna hang out with Megan. Um, my best friend has some of her girlfriends in town from her hometown. So I think I'm gonna hang out with them today, but in the meantime, our house has gotten destroyed by all of this. Between moving furniture out, moving furniture in, there's tools and rags and drills and having a kid here for the last few hours. It's kind of just um, uh, craziness. So I'm going to spend a little time cleaning up and we'll see where we are then. In the meantime... I'm watching Friends, cause what else is new? Good morning, I was just, we were sitting here on the couch and I realized I hadn't vlogged at all today. It is Sunday. The last time I vlogged, I think I was actually sitting on the couch and just explaining that we had finally finished. Uh, we ended up going over to our best friend Manny and Megan's house last night and literally just sat and watched TV till about 10 o'clock. And then came back home. I didn't bring my camera because there wasn't really anything to show. So it was nice. It was a quiet night. And then we just went home, went to bed. 
got up this morning and we went to church and now we are just sitting and trying to decide what we want to do. I think we're going to go up to my parents' house today. Uh, we need to eat a meal at some point. So we're deciding if we want to do that up there, my parents, if we want to do it down here, what we want to do. Um, so I don't know. What did you say was your, did you win the challenge? Dang it. Ugh. Mike and I are playing trivia crack and I just challenged him. And he just did an obscene gesture after he won. I'm so mad. That's the first one you've won. Mm -hmm. I will put the camera on you and show it. So what did you say you want to do today? Like right now? Just relax. It'd be fun to go up the hill. Mom said she has potentially lasagna and salad ready if we want. Okay. So maybe we should go up there right now. We are at my parents' house now, and my mom just made oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, which I don't... Oatmeal raisin. Oh, <laughs> I wish oatmeal chocolate chip. They're actually oatmeal raisin, and I'm not a fan of raisins, so I'm letting this guy eat them all. Hi. Did we have so much fun yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> I think he likes the cookies. He's a big fan of raisins, though, so... Um, I'm trying to get my mom and my sister out the door because we are going to go to the mall and do a little bit of shopping. Right, mom? Yeah. What, what do you What do you need to buy? Some jeans. Oh, some jeans. Mom is trying on jeans, but we we're just talking. Remember when mannequins used to look more like, I don't want to say real people, but like they used to have wigs and eyelashes and they're painted their fingernails. And now, they look like this. And they're clearly not real looking. Those were the days. Those were the 80s, right Val? Yeah, I wasn't alive. <laughs> Mom and I are just waiting in the car, Val and Cole. Um, Cole is Dane's dad, I don't know if I've ever mentioned, but he's been in my vlogs before. Val and Cole are in um, DSW looking at shoes, and Mom is just showing me what she got. So you wear that when you go for walks and stuff when it's cold? Or yeah. you just wear it all the time under stuff? I wear it for both, but it's a layering thing. And I needed a new white one, because my other white ones were grungy looking, so yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? Did she just like photo bomb us? Yeah, what? she was totally coming up behind. What else did you get, Mom? Uh, jeans and socks. Look at oh, dude. those were only a buck. Like a buck sixty. Yellow dot, only. you know. And aren't argyles the best? <laughs> I couldn't resist them, even if they would have been full price. I don't think I could have. But how much were. were they normally? Six. Did you get anything? Oh, you got sunglasses. Let's see. Oh, cute. Those are cute. Like yeah. Where are they from? Old Navy. Oh, oh you were in old Are we going to color? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll color. We're going to color. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, now we're doing swirls. Swirl, swirl, swirl. I like it, Hattie. And now a zig, a zig, zig and zag. Some orange. Yay! So pretty. And more dots. Yep. I like it. Can I see your toes? <gasps> How pretty! What color are your toes? Are they pink? Can you say, Mommy, I miss you. I hope you're having fun in Chicago. Dean, show me your muscles. Dean, show me your muscles. <laughs> We've got dogs and kids galore and raisins everywhere. Raisins? I am going to finish the vlog here tonight. It's Sunday night still, obviously. And we were at my parents' last afternoon, and then we came home. We have a long way to go to finish um, getting everything organized and cleaned up, but I think we're gonna call it quits for the rest of the night and just watch TV because it has been a really busy weekend. 
but thank you guys for joining me this week um i also never thanked you guys for those who left some really sweet comments on my vlog what last week i really appreciate your kind words thank you for reminding me that i am okay the way i am i'm better than okay just the way i am um and you guys' encouragement helped me a lot so uh I'm ending this vlog here. I hope you guys all had an amazing weekend and I will see you for my next video on Thursday. Bye. This is my phone. It is the iPhone 6 and I debated between this and the 6 Plus.